Very few people have lived, have faced a serial killer and lived to tell about it. In the late 1990s, the infamous railroad killer spread terror throughout the country and Kentucky was one of his hunting grounds. Coincide with her new book, aptly named Soul Survivor. It's going to go light on day. That's right. Two boys can be a handful, but Holly Dunn You're upside down. isn't complaining. Yeah. Every day is a blessing. Kiss. Because this day and the many before it are the exception. She's the sole survivor of a horror going back to the 80s and 90s. Begin riding the rails through Kentucky. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. It's Lavender here, and today I'm back with another true crime case. And I am here with the serial killer Angel Merdino Rineris, the railroad killer story. So let's get started into this true crime case video. So yeah, this case has been featured in a number of media and TV and books. It has been featured in a couple of these. I'm going to name them right now. It has been featured on I Survived Season 1, Episode 6. Survivor Holly Dunn shared a story of her attack and the murder of Christopher Maynard. Um, it also was featured, um, this uh, true crime case is also featured in Crime Stories on the Discovery Channel, Infamous Murders, Death in the Country on the History Channel, Murder, She Solved, True Crime, Episode 13, Railway, Railway Killer on Oprah Winfrey Network, Canadian TV Channel, The FBI Files, Tracks of a Killer on the Biography Channel, 2003, Renaris was the focus of the December 11, 2010 episode of 48 Hours Mystery, CBS, Live to Tell, The Railroad Killer, in which Holly Dunn shared her story of her attack. One episode of Criminal Minds Catching Out featured a serial killer named Armiro Ritis Sinalis, who appears to have been based on this um, serial killer, Angel. He was a Hispanic drifter who traveled by railway and killed most of his victims by bludgeoning them. And here is a background of the serial killer and yeah, just his whole story. So yeah. So Angel was born on August 1st, 1959 in Puebla, Mexico. He was born in Mexico. He was raised by a single mother until the age of six when he was sent to live with his aunt and his uncle. He later returned to live with his mother once again. His family remember him as a loner who seldom got into trouble and it was known that he had like a seventh grade like education. I think that was his like highest education I think. According to his mother, when he was 13 or 14 he was sexually assaulted and sexually abused by a group of older boys after going swimming in a nearby river. Angel began Ill illegally crossing the border into America as a teen. He was arrested multiple times throughout his whole entire life. One was in Michigan in 1976, and he was sent back to Mexico. Later, he was arrested for severely beating an 88-year-old man inside his home in Miami, Florida. He received a 20-year prison sentence for assault and burglary, but was released in 1985. He was later deported following his release from prison after that incident, but he continued to sne sneak back across the border multiple times, and in 1986, he murdered an, an unidentifiable homeless woman, shooting her four times, and dumped her body in an abandoned farmhouse in Texas. In June 1986, he was arrested in Linero, Texas, for trying to sneak back into the country in America with a fake U.S. birth certificate and sentenced to 18 months in prison. On May 1991, Angel was sent was again deported after serving 30 months for fraudulently applying for social security cards, weapons, possessions, and other charges. Later, he was back in Texas on July 19, 1991. He murdered 33-year-old Michael White. Angel drifted in and out across the border, working seasonal farm jobs in the U.S., either sending money back home or taking it with him when he left. Illegally hopping freight trains, and that's how he got his name, the railroad killer, because he illegally just hopped on trains, and it was very common of him to do so. In March 1997, he killed Jesse Holloway and Wendy Von Haben, who, two teenage runaways from Woodstock, Illinois. Angel later admitted to raping the woman and strangling her death and sexually sodomizing her corpse after she was murdered. He later bludgeoned to death 21-year-old University of Kentucky student Christopher Meyer, then raped and beat his girlfriend Holly Dunn, 
She, the victim, would later go on to write a book about her attack by Angel and the, the book she wrote about her experience in the attack in this true crime case. In 1998, he beat 87-year-old Latifah Madison to death. He murdered Fanny Whitney Byers, 81, to death. Later, he raped and murdered pediatric neurologist Claudia Bitten, 39. He would leave behind fingerprints, evidence, and DNA, which would ultimately lead to his capture and identify him as the serial killer that they were looking for and the rapist. On June 4, 1999, Angel broke into the apartment of Naomi Dominguez, 26, and sexually assaulted her before murdering her. He stole her car later that day and used the same weapon that he used, a pickaxe, to murder Josephine Kavika, 73, on her property. Investigators were looking for a Latino drifter. Angel broke into the home of 80-year-old George Mober Sr. He was murdered with a shotgun after he was looking for his morning paper. The victim's daughter, 52-year-old Carolyn Frederick, later stopped by to visit Angel and he beat her over the head with a shotgun until it broke. Angel... Angel Ramirez had been put on the FBI's 10 most wanted list, on America's most wanted list, and on July 13, 1999, Angel finally surrendered to the police and FBI. He pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity, claiming he was an avenging angel from God and he was doing God's work. The jury found him guilty of murder and he was later sentenced to death. He asked for forgiveness and he was later executed by lethal injection on June 27th. Two and six. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye guys, next video.